Hi guys and welcome to today's YouTube video on how to relax and effortlessly hit the bomb serve. And welcome to you all. And thank you for your time in watching and I'm sure this will give you guys a lot of value. So please hit the subscribe button and we'd really appreciate your support towards our channel. And please share this free video with your friends and we'd like to get this free video out so that it can help more players around the world. We really appreciate that, so thank you. And thank you for your watching this video and uh, this video will give you guys a lot of our value. So on the effortless and relaxed bomb serve, all the energy that you accumulate from the body movement must be sent to the racket head. That's the first tip I could give you guys. So relaxed effortless motion requires a relaxed effortless grip. You cannot grip it so tight. And if you grip it so tight, there's no, there's no flexion in your arm. You see all the top servers in the world, they're all really relaxed and it's also very making it very simple. A simple motion is a good motion. So that's the first tip I wanna give you guys. So in the upcoming video, you will see that when I hit the bomb serve, it's a body movement, but it's still very relaxed. I do the whole movement, but I send all the energy to the racket head. So the racket head can collide with the ball. And I want you guys to check that out in the upcoming videos, and I hope you enjoy this demonstration. As you guys can see in the demonstration, it's a whole body movement, but I been relaxed and I send all the energy to the racket head where it makes the biggest impact with the ball. At the end of the day, it's the racket that hits the ball, not our shoulders or the elbow that hits the ball. So some friends, they have shoulder and elbow and injury. It's because it's all the energy is trapped there and they're stressing too much in those parts. And um, it's unfortunate that it has an injury. So I really stress to have everybody relax more and send all the energy to the racket head so it makes the biggest collision with the ball. So next tip I want to give you guys. So remember, when you guys do the whole movement, it all starts from the ground first. So the kinetic chain starts from the ground first, where it goes from the legs to the hips, core, shoulder, arm, hand, and then racket. Now, when it starts from the legs, you don't have to have the biggest knee bend possible. You don't have to. It just has to have a little knee bend to kickstart the process. So you'll see that I do a little knee bend, just a little down up, and then I will rotate from down to up, but I'm rotating upwards towards the ball. You must go upwards and not forward. That's the very important tip that I wanna share with you guys. Be sure to go upwards as you use the legs, and then you rotate the hips and shoulders, you're going upwards towards the ball. That's a very important tip. So in the upcoming video demonstration, I want you guys to see and look for those aspects where I will use the legs and then I will rotate upwards towards the ball. So be sure to check that out. So as you guys can see in the video just now, I was rotating upwards towards the ball after I did my knee bend. And it's very important that we reach up as high as we can. And that's one of the next tips I wanna give you guys. Reach up and don't jump. Don't think jump, think reach up. Because if you reach up, then your timing is going to be better because you're reaching towards the ball. If you just think jump, it's not gonna be timed very well. And sometimes you might have missed timing and that's gonna cause your serve to you know fail sometimes. And uh, we want you guys to be more successful. And reaching up has shown there's more success for more players when they think the right way when they're going towards the serve. So hope you guys can look for that in the upcoming demonstration. As we reach up towards the serve, uh, towards the ball, when we reach up, be sure to then launch the racket head towards the ball and keep the wrist and the forearm really relaxed. And we say with some friends asking us, oh, it's a flexion or pronation. We're gonna say it's a combination of both. You could have both in order to have a good bomb serve and have a relaxed arm movement. So in the upcoming demonstrations, we want you guys to look for that, for the relaxed arm movement and 
reaching up towards the ball. As you guys can see in the last demonstration, I'm reaching up and I'm keeping a relaxed arm movement and combination of flexion and pronation into the ball. Okay, and the racket head is the ultimate uh, objective where we send all the energy of the air that we accumulate towards the racket head and then towards the ball to make its biggest collision. So the next tip I want to give you guys is after you guys make that movement, is to relax the elbow. Okay, if you guys can relax the elbow, it keeps it keeps the whole movement, the, that final relaxation part, where you guys can do the whole relaxed snap. If some players would go too far, and that would sometimes pull the ball into the net, and that's unfortunate because you've made all the effort, and then you pull it down towards the net, and that becomes a fault. So be sure to reach up, snap the racket head, racket head snap, wrist snap, pronation, combination of both, and then relax the high elbow, and then follow through and that's the next tip is after you do your high elbow you're going to complete the movement for the full body rotation keep the motion smooth and continuous so that you can repeat it over and over again some friends they would stop abruptly and that would actually not it's actually not good for the muscles be sure to can be a continuous movement so that you can repeat the motion over and over again and it's better maintenance for your muscles as well. So in the upcoming video, I want you guys to look for these aspects where I reach up, I flex, and then I have a high elbow, and then I finish the movement with a good body rotation follow through. I hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration on the serve where I would go ahead and snap the racket head of the ball, high elbow, and then body rotation. And I finish the whole movement in one continuous movement. So be sure to practice that a lot. And I want to give you guys one last tip. It's part of the STM slow flow breathing visualization part. The visualization part is very important in order for you to hit a more successful bomb serve in a relaxed and effortless fashion. You must think before you hit. So for all our friends who are interested in STM, it's a system that I made, I created, um, that includes a series of books and equipment that helps all our friends with um, their tennis, shadow tennis movement training. Now, visualization, as I mentioned, is very important that you think before you hit. Think before you hit. So in this case, you're gonna think the trajectory of the ball before you go, go ahead and bomb that serve. Example is the trajectory starts from the racket over the net and landing and then the bounce so in this case first think over the net first think over the net and then location now think this before you go ahead and hit your serve if you think and you don't if you think and um the wrong way and you don't hit the right serve then it's going to be a fault so be sure to think the right way before you execute your serve and it's going to improve your chances of hitting that bomb serve more effectively and more successfully so in the upcoming video i want you guys to see that these serves i'm going to go ahead and do the whole body movement but i'm always still aiming high over the net and then into the ground so hope you guys like this demonstration
So okay guys, there you have it. So that's my brief summary on the surf. And definitely there's many tips out there, many coaching methods on the surf. And today is just a brief sharing of some tips that I want to give you guys. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And I thank you for you guys watching my video today. And I hope these tips have given you guys some value in the helping you guys hit your bomb surfs more relaxed and effortlessly. And be sure to practice it slow and a lot so that you get this, these tips subconsciously into your system. So please subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate your support and feel free to share this video with your friends as this is free video and we want to share it out to all our friends around the world. I really appreciate that. So thank you for your time and watching and we look forward to seeing you guys in the upcoming videos where we share more free coaching tips to help you guys with your game. Thank you.